Hello everybody, John here with more Mars Anomalies. We're back in orbit around Mars with the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and a photograph taken by the high-rise camera. This is at a new site in Terra Serenum, just north of Chamberlain. This photograph was acquired by the high-rise on the 17th of May 2024 at a high resolution of 24.9 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's that dune patch at the site. And the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these brighter white specks that litter this terrain. Right, so for some context, we have Chamberlain, Ionia Terra outlined there. And the site we're looking at is located at that position at roughly 63 degrees 38 minutes south, 120 degrees 49 minutes west. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies at sites surrounding this one towards the end of the video. As always, I'm including a scale indicator to assist in measuring the approximate size of the anomalies we'll be looking at. So the one highlighted there, I'd say is roughly, we've got 20 meters there, so 10, so that's about 12 meters in length. To the right, conventional magnification, and to the left, Topaz Labs gigapixel upscaling. So yes, just the comparison showing you that Topaz Labs gigapixel gets rid of background noise in photographs and it upscales preserving edges. So here we can see the outline and shape of that anomaly and the block behind it look basically the same except conventional magnification produces very blurry images and in Topaz Labs Gigapixel upscales cleaning the images of background noise, compression artifacts, and it preserves edges, producing clean, crisp, upscaled images. And there's a closer look at this weird anomaly. Check this out. It's got an odd shape to it. Straight edge at the back, and then that seems to be a rectangular open space and then that long narrow rectangular part on the top I don't know what to make of that folks I don't know what it could be check out the uniform thickness of this item as well and then this strange oddball we've got 20 there 10 so that there is roughly 12 meters in length to the right conventional magnification and to the left Topaz Labs gigapixel upscale they can see the outline and shape highlights and shadows correspond except Topaz Labs gigapixel produces crisp clean upscaled images and there's a closer look at this strange dome shaped part with this split running across the entire length I'm not quite sure what that could be folks also rather odd so all the images following this I've upscaled using Topaz Labs Gigapixel by the way NASA also uses Topaz Labs upscaling technology 
So the models that we use learn from the original source. So we'll be looking at the block highlighted there, your 2010. I'd say that block is about 8 meters in length. Neat straight edges, right angles, smooth flat surfaces. And there's a couple of these blocks at the site. There's another one highlighted here, folks. This one's a little longer, I'd say it's about 9 to 10 meters in length. Well defined edges and right angles, uniform width as well. And there's another weird block highlighted. Yeah, it's got a smaller protruding part in its center, brighter than the rest. So that there, I would say, is about six meters in length. Again, we've got neat straight edges and right angles. And then that strange brighter part in its center. We've seen so many blocks on Mars with protrusions or holes in their centers or close to their centers. Much like the blocks that we'd find at ancient sites in South America, for example. Right, let's have a look at the block highlighted there. I'd say that's about 9 to 10 meters in length. Nice uniform width to it. And then again, right angles. This one's got a slightly rounded shape to it. Right, let's have a look at the rectangular part highlighted there. I'd say it's about 12 to 14 meters in length. Strange dark areas on it, like holes perhaps. Looks like sheet metal in my opinion. It's rather odd as well, covered in dust or sand. Right, check out this piece. We've seen similar items like this at sites close to this one. I don't know why these are sort of hollowed out on the one side. So this piece I'd say is about 10 meters in length and then that carved out or hollowed out part on the one side. There's a couple like this or similar to this at sites close by as well. I don't know how to classify this item, folks. It's about 10 meters across, consisting of multiple round or arced shaped parts. That small spherical object on the inside. That I'd say is about uh, 3 meters across. Then there's a couple strewn about nearby this piece so it's about 14 meters across two layers and then the odd smaller parts right there in the center this piece highlighted here yeah? 2010, about 8 to 9 meters in length. It's got a small spherical object on the top. It looks like it's inside a hollowed out area. It's also a smaller item of here, roughly the same shape, with a smaller protruding part close to its center. Right, check out the hole in this odd item. There's about 10 meters across. It's got a neat hole on the top. Looks like something sticking out 
of that opening. Right then, this really strange arrangement of parts, I don't know what to call it, folks. 2010, so that there's about 12 meters across. Check this out. Some type of carving or sculpture, perhaps. Who knows, folks? There's also these strange discs at the site. We'll have a look at another one of those following this. And there it is highlighted there. 2010. So I'd say it's about 5 meters in diameter. Neat circular shape to it. Right, we're in Google Earth Mars, zooming down to that site. So for context, we've got Chamberlain over here to the south, Ahonia Terra outlined there folks, and the site we're looking at is right there. And at the time of this video, the high-rise photograph we just analyzed wasn't loaded to Google Mars yet. So let's have a look at those anomalies in summary again. Right, let's have a look at some of the other anomalies at sites close to this one. So towards the west, also north of Chamberlain, but these oddities. Right, one more for good measure. Check, there's one of those blocks with the one end carved out. That narrow part there sticks up about two to three meters perpendicularly. So it looks like a monolith sticking up there, folks. Maybe, who knows? But that's also very odd. So blocks or rectangular parts. And with that said, we've reached the end of this presentation. I hope you found it insightful. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I'll be doing uh, two podcasts this week, folks. I won't be concentrating too much on new research, but the search for more continues. As always, thanks for watching.